Hi beautiful Leo, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your first week of July reading to see what is in store for you this first week of a very charged astrological month. So before we go into the cards, I would love to tell you a little bit about the energies this month. You've probably heard by now what's going on, but there's a lot of important um, transitions that are going to be occurring. So we have two new moons, meaning that is it is definitely a month of new beginnings and new stages of our lives opening up. We have a full moon, we have eclipses, we have Mercury retrograde and other planets that are still retrograde from before. So we do have a lot going on, guys. It's an important month, July. And this first week, um, what we need to pay attention to is the eclipse happening on Cancer on the 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. And also the fact that this first week is going to be um, under the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. So we're going to start feeling those energies a little bit. We're going to start feeling very introspective and start going within and revisiting our goals, our dreams, our path, ourselves. You know what I mean? We're going to be reevaluating everything this month, but also this week. So let's see what is in store for you guys for this first week as far as the cards go. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here, Leo. You guys know that I love you. And if you're new to my channel, I invite you to click right now on that subscribe button to please become a part of this um, internet family. Let's see, Leo. Energies for Leo. First week of July for Leos. Today I'm using the Mermaid's Tarot and the Crystal Tarot. Okay. At the bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Wands. Interesting. So guys, if you feel like there's a point of view that you need to defend or assess or address with others, if you feel like you need to stand your ground and speak your truth, this is a wonderful week to do so. However, try not to, you know, save all of the super important conversations that you've been wishing to have for months for this month of July because communication is going to be a little weird. And, you know, if you could just wait till August, that could actually be way better. But it is a good time for you to contemplate why and how you can speak your truth and stand your ground without taking action just yet, okay? Let's see what else is going on here. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. I feel inclined to flip all of them. Interesting. Very interesting, guys. First sign that gets a devil card out of the readings that I've gone through. And everyone's getting the tower. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, where should we start? Let's start with the lovely energies. We got the Empress here. We got the Six of Wands. Okay, so this week, and we got the King of, King of Pentacles. This week is going to be one of the pursuit of stability. You're going to be very connected to the awareness that stability is a wonderful asset to have like you're gonna value it more this month this week and this month than you usually um, value that kind of thing there is victory there is success there is happiness for you and i feel like everything that happens this month is just gonna take you closer and closer to even a higher level of all these things you have the empress card so it seems to me like if you remain in your feminine energy peace, quiet, introspection, meditation, everything that you desire is going to come through very harmoniously, very easily. You don't have to push 
for anything. You don't really have to make any efforts. It seems like you are already victorious and everything that you want is already at your disposal. You just have to be kind of patient and focus on your routine and the step-to-step -step, um, things and responsibilities that you need to do every day. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or Taurus. This person could hold in their hands some shape or form of your stability. They could be um, kind of like a boss, an authority figure, or someone who has an important influence in your stability. You are very vibrant, Leo, this month. And people can see that. Your energy is very viral, vibrant, energized, happy, and excited. And when others are feeling kind of cold and kind of gray, you are shining. And this is definitely catching the attention of others around you. Some of you guys could also be dealing perhaps with an air sign. That could be a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. But you're definitely very um, noticed this week and this month. I feel like on the surface... Everything is very good. Like your external reality is in balance. You're being able to be very objective. You're being you're able to see things for what they are and take action accordingly. You're being responsible. You're allowing your emotions to speak to you, but you're also being very like objective and having good discernment and judgment about the decisions that you're planning to make or that you've made in the past. Some of you guys are looking at your recent accomplishments. Looking back, maybe with a partner, maybe with a family member, maybe by yourself. You're looking back and you're saying, wow, I, there's goals that I never thought I would actually accomplish. And I have accomplished them. And that means that I can probably do more. That means that I can probably, you know, reach higher. And you definitely can, Leo. Definitely. However, this week, you are going to be feeling these energies, guys. I feel like you're going to be feeling them less than other people because we do have very positive cards that speak about you being observed as a leader, stable, vibrant, loving energy. So others are going to be like, how is Leo so chill? <laughs> how is Leo so in control? How is Leo not feeling all this craziness? You know, like people are not going to realize that you are also feeling it. They're going to think that you're immune to any kind of sadness. <laughs> um, but the thing is, very deep inside, you are going to be um, feeling and experiencing these energies for sure. First, we have the devil card. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yes. But you could be also be very tempted to throw away all of that progress that you've made you've made amazing progress leo so much so that others are like how are leo are how are the, how are the leos doing this like how can they manage to make this all of this happen so you might fall into this comfort zone due to other people's admiration or recognition and you're gonna maybe you know fall into this trap of oh, i've worked so hard I've, i have accomplished so much let's take a rest let's take it easy Let's, let's break the diet a little bit, or let's skip the workout, or let's miss a day of work. You know, like you might feel kind of like tempted to reward yourself in a way that could actually sabotage the success that you have been making. So be careful with that. Five of Cups and the Tower. This desire to succumb to pleasure temptation comfort that could not necessarily be the best kind of comfort like i mentioned earlier like i want to eat the bad thing i want to go drinking a lot i want to you know all of these things that are you know are not necessarily good for you and that could actually be like opposing your progress you could feel like you need to tap into those things because you might feel a little bit sad um with the five of cups here Maybe something in the past didn't go your way. Maybe something just 
played out in a different way that you would have wanted and that led you to feel very empty, very alone, very negative and pessimistic with way more emotions that you knew how to handle. And it, it, maybe this week you're going to be very focused on that. Maybe this week you're going to be kind of having a hard time disconnecting from the thoughts that are related to that situation that went wrong in the past. So you, you might expect, you might experience a lot of those thoughts coming back and memories and saying, why did that happen that way? Why did I do that? Why did they do that? I don't understand, like I don't deserve this. You're gonna be kind of like overthinking and that overthinking and sadness could lead you to sabotage through anxiety or depression and therefore the choices and decisions that could not be beneficial for you. But that is going to also be a part of something bigger. It seems to me like through that moment of breaking down and realizing the sabotage, you are going to actually find in a truth here with the tower that is going to shift everything for you this week. And from this week on, you are going to realize how to bring in a further level of stability to the foundation of your life. But this can only happen, it seems, through this little bit of a bump. So allow the bump and just explore everything that comes through that moment. Universe, what messages do you have for our beautiful Leos for this first week of July? Seven of Cups. I trust myself to see the truth. Even though it might feel confusing, guys might feel a little bit foggy this week the tower second time I surrender and know how to go forward crystals that can support you if you're feeling the tower quite strongly are hematite and related quartz and if you feel if you're feeling very very confused emotionally aquamarine these are not my suggestions these actually come with the cards <laughs> In case you're wondering. Last message we have here, King of Wands. I am successful in all I do. Yes, Leo, you are. You really, really are, especially when you are on your side. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. I take the time I need to nurture myself. So yes, guys, it seems like a very transformative, in-depth week for you but it also seems like a very positive week for you so i hope you enjoy it please let me know below if any of this resonates and how does it apply for you if it does and make sure to check out the monthly reading for leos that is going to be very very powerful for you guys and i'll see you very soon I'm sending all my love to you and i hope that you have a wonderful month